mukbang, a mukbangin, mukbang, a mukbangin, mukbang, a we hangin, we bang, a we bangin. Yummy Biters, welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, today we are starting, today is our first day of this three-day watermelon fast. I was about to say water fast. Watermelon fast, y'all. So, now I don't know about merch. Is this all you're going to be eating for the day, for the entire day, besides drinking water? Because I plan on just eating this Um, If this all we got is water watermelon, I'm probably going to break it fast. Because, you know what I'm saying? Are you serious? Yeah. Why? What do you mean why? What the hell? How many times a day do you need to eat watermelon? If we're on a watermelon fast, if we don't have any watermelon, then how the you know that that ain't. This is the watermelon for the day. I don't know. I don't know if this is enough. I might be eating a whole watermelon a day because you know what I'm saying. You, you think? Get hungry later on, and then what you? Okay, gonna well we could just order just some more. Hungry. We'll just order some more anyway. So that is the plan. Okay, I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. I am so hungry right now. I'm craving. <laughs> I'm craving some shrimp fried rice. I don't know why. Yeah. I want some so bad. Like, what are you craving? I'm not hungry at all. I'm still really? full. Yeah, I'm full from the eating before I go to sleep at night. That's another thing. He ate this morning. So. And I always do. I, you know what I'm saying? I don't eat when I wake up. But I do these videos when I wake up. So I don't be hungry. All right, come on, y'all. I'm ready to eat. But, uh, oh, we. We're going to ask God to bless the. It's food that's already blessed. Oh, boy. Amen. And let it be sweet, Lord. Thank you, God, for this beautiful watermelon. Thank you for putting that H302 what? in it. What? That only comes from black, uh, black woman's breast milk. What? It's found in fruit juices. H302 is what we actually need for hydration, not H2O. Mm. It's sweet. That's why watermelon makes the black man so happy. <laughs> Why? Because it got H three O two in it. The only other place that's found is in a black woman's breast milk. Mmm. Mm. You got some black seeds, y'all. Mmm. I bet I don't get the itis off eating this. I don't know. I was thinking about that. I'm like, I wonder if he's going to get sleepy off then. You're probably going to be too busy using the bathroom. Mm. I'm just eating the seeds. Are you eating them? Yeah, they're not even, I'm not even detecting them in my mouth when I'm eating it. This must be seedless. That's what they say, but there's seeds all in here. You don't see the seeds? Yeah, poor seeds. It makes me sad how, you know, they are attacking the seeds. To the point they barely even grow now. Really? Mmm. So if you have more wild melon, you think you can do it? I thought this was a challenge. We, like, we're yeah, challenging ourselves to do it Yeah, but I, need, to, have, you know, I need to be able to, if I get hungry, be, have some watermelon to eat. That's why I told you, I was like, I'm going to order a whole truffle of, of watermelons from somewhere, try to find a wholesale or something. Oh, God. You need to do all so, that. So then we could have, you know, you can eat as much watermelon as you need to get full. And, and fill up your trunk. Yeah, I was trying not to have to do that, you know. <laughs> that would be the easiest, most cheapest thing to do. Mm-mm. Mm. Find one of them guys that's selling watermelon on the side of the road and get him to bring Kate, hey, Kate, I need you to come to the crib. I need all these in the back of your truck, bro. Oh can my you, can God. you drop them off for me? At $13 a piece, baby. <laughs> mm. I guess it is worth it because all you need is probably like one of those a day. Exactly. That's the big long ones you said, huh? Yeah. The kind and they we probably better for you. Kids. They got seeds in them, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, exactly. The big, been pretty Frankenstein black one. GMO, yeah. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. This one's not as sweet as that last one we had, though, huh? Mmm. Still good, though. Yeah, yeah. 
Mm. A healthy way to start your day. So, you know, a lot of people are talking about, oh. um, what's her name, Queen Elizabeth? Mm-hmm, what they saying about her? Like, uh, about the bad things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like. I don't. I don't talk about the dead like that. I don't, I, you know what I'm saying? I, for some reason, <clears throat> you know. But do you know why they're they don't like hair if um she died? Because there's a lot of people that just they don't care. They're not like like first like. Well, of course I can speak on that. Like do come on now sad. like. Colonialism. She represents, yeah, that that whole that represents like to for me, like the oppression of of black people, like all of that. Not just black people, though, right? I don't know, but like you know, what I'm saying that's what that, 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 all of that is just like of course. Do you like? I don't I don't see how these people can care, but a lot of people are like they rock to sleep. They're not really woke. They don't really understand. Like you know, what I'm saying mm-hmm. they don't they don't get it. They don't understand. And you know, so what? Tell us what we what they need to get because I don't think I know everything. Like <clears throat> I don't. It, it 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 it's a lot, especially when dealing with the British family. Yeah, I, I, is that why Megan left? Because they didn't really like black people, allegedly. Dog, listen. No, no. Once upon a time, let's go all the way back in time. Once upon a time, uh, black ruled the world. And black end up cutting white off from all trade routes and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's like <clears throat> you see how the you see how right now how white runs the world and how the world itself is being destroyed. Mm-hmm. Mankind is being destroyed. You see all this wickedness on the planet. Mm-hmm. Our ancestors knew that this would be the result if they were allowed to run around and about. That's why they ran up to the Caucasus Mountains in the beginning, mm-hmm. way back. Mm-hmm. Right. Then you know whoever it was that said it was Moses, you know, civilized them or whatever, uh, whatnot. They try to rise up, you know, and then we end up cutting them off again, putting them, send, <clears throat> sending them into a dark ages. You heard about the dark ages? I heard about it, yeah. All right. So then once they got up out of the dark ages, I think that's what, that, that's where the, um, that's where the hatred from black comes from, right? From, you know, from black trying to suffocate them off in the beginning. Oh, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For, you know, because we knowing, you know, just the origin of their uh creation what they mm-hmm. were about and what were, what they were going to be about uh so that so 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 then that when they rose up then it was uh down with the black man right uh-huh and so that's where we at now man we still down so like all of that you know you that all of that's people and they love and they oppressor like you know what i'm saying i don't love my oppressors at all none of them So that's what that is, <clears throat> you know. And that, that you know, these all these the, the royal family. That, that mean, come on. That's just. Do you think the royal family give a damn about your family? No. Like I'm, you know, no, of course not. So I'm speaking. I'm talking about black people. So you know, mm-hmm. I, I, it was some black people last night. All you know, donating. All you know, R.I.P. to to the queen. Man, you lost in the mother. But I ain't even. I was like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna let people stay asleep. I'm not trying to, you know, not gonna come between somebody and they love. If, if you want to love your oppressor, you go mind. ahead, go ahead. You know, especially she dead. Let her, let her rest in peace. I'm sure not uh, mourning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I don't even know her, honestly. Like, and I, like, I hardly even ever <clears throat> learned that much about. That family, either, bro. Up. Like, like, no, it's a lot of blood drinking going on. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of uh, what's they call it, adrenal chrome. You know what I'm saying? Uh, heart being harvested from all of these people that's coming up missing. You know what I'm saying? These people, they 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 partake in that. You know, to try to it, uh, stretch their lives. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it's very wicked. You know, these, these reptilians that possess mankind 
find a refuge within them, within their family. You know what I'm saying? They mm -hmm. know, no, these people are evil. <clears throat> So dark, so wicked. Oh boy. Um, what else is going on here? But she just a little sweet old lady. And then I saw a video of her. Uh, it looked like she might have been at a school or something. I don't even know, but it was in Africa in 1954. And she was throwing, it looked like she was, I don't know what she was throwing on the ground, but they were scattering for it. And she kept throwing it, and they kept scattering for it. I, I didn't know what it was, but anyway. <clears throat> um, guess who I found on TikTok? It's just like, anyway. The daughter of the guy who founded Yankee Candle. Remember Yankee Candle? What is that? It's a candle company. Yeah, I remember that. Anyway, so she's on um, on uh, TikTok because, well, this, this is not why, but she is on TikTok. Um, people found out that, I guess, her family put their uh, childhood um, <clears throat> house up on the market. It was a $23 million house. And she's on TikTok just telling everybody, you know, how it was growing up there. And it's, it's so intriguing. Oh, my God. I'm like, wow. Wow. Like, they just grew up, so like, totally different from me and anybody I know. Like, yeah. <clears throat> Shit, I want to experience that for myself. I mean, they literally look just not, they look so normal. So normal. Like she takes you on her trips and stuff. So nice. Oh my god. The places that they get to stay when they're um traveling is just wow. Mm. Okay, anyway, so I'm got water on juice it for. Um is it? Pennsylvania, who was a passenger on a Royal Caribbean ship that left from Port Canaveral, was killed while she was participating in a seize the day shark excursion. Now, I happen to have been in the a shark excursion. You know, like them excursions that you get to go on when you get off the boat. She was swimming in the water with some sharks. And they have these these uh, swim with the shark um, excursions you that you can go swim on. Swim with the shark. They had, I think they had one when I when we had went. Swim with the shark. Of course, we didn't want to do that. Boy, I tell you what. Yeah, and uh, yeah, she got killed. This lady did. Yeah, the details play. The He's not gonna tell anything else, but that she got. Um, I was on that day, and I spoke to a marine biologist who happened to have participated in the shark excursion, obviously before this incident occurred, and she said she thought this was a relatively safe thing to do. But here's the thing. These excursions can be very dangerous. People go on cruises and want to do things like visit an active volcano, jump off a waterfall in the Dominican Republic, like my wife did last week. Or go on a swim with the shark excursion, and you can get hurt, and you can die. Now, how in the world might Royal Caribbean be responsible for this? Well, she didn't buy the excursion from Royal Caribbean. She bought it from an independent vendor. It's going to be very difficult to hold the cruise line responsible if she bought it from Royal Caribbean. The cruise line does have an obligation under federal maritime law to warn people of dangers. Now... But that's crazy. People just got to be smart. Like, know, come on right? now. You know, like, how could they even have that as an excursion unless they have some trained how could, sharks? Thank you. How could they think that that would be safe? That, you know, we I, could... Exactly. I do not know. That is craziness. I would never. I have to see it. I wouldn't, e I wouldn't even do it with trained um, sharks because they could always turn on you like every other animal does. Like, no. 
Do you have this camera? I do. What is it? What is it? The Canon G7 X Mark III. Yeah. Do you have this? I have a... Is it the Mark... It's something like... It's the G7X. I forgot the rest of it. Though. It's a Mark... Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's that camera that's on my... Um, what's it called? That, Why? That's your newest one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, that right. I haven't used yet because of the... Remember I told you I can't take the footage out of there and put it in my computer for some reason? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Let me see if I can get footage out of it and put it in my computer. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I'm thinking about getting one. For what? To vlog with. Didn't you already buy a camera to vlog with? It's probably trash, you know what I'm saying? Like, And I got one of your old ones, but you know, you know how you, oh, look, yeah, you, know how you look at somebody's video and shit, you be like, you know, you like he hits unbox that one and then he switch mid mid video and it made the other camera look blur. I'm like, oh shit, I need a, I need a clear camera. You know that what I'm saying? Like, camera I was that probably camera. focusing. That is a daggone good camera. How much is that camera? Because that one would cost five hundred dollars. This one is like seven, right around seven hundred. Yeah, I'm trying to take that, and that one is four K. Is that four K? Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you, that's a good camera. It probably is, I but would that still one be is better. This one is better. If it wasn't more convenient to use my phone, but we say that one's better. Yeah. Who told you and that? and lighter and smaller, like that one is big and clunky and shit. You know what I'm saying? What it is, is that? It's not big and that clunky. One? It is. That it's big not that girl, big. that thing is huge. This camera is like this big. It was sticking in your yeah, pocket. Yeah, I know. I have it. <laughs> How long you been having it and haven't used it? Are you kidding me? At least a year and a half. Uh uh. I'm gonna get that from you. Let me use it. Please. Please. You see how she acting? Y'all see that, huh? Caught it right on camera. Because I'm trying to see how to use it. You ain't, but you I ain't, though. You've been it. having it for a year and a half. But I've been trying. What I need to get one for when you, you got one me. that you ain't even using. <laughs> Let's don't mess it up. Just know it's still mine. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Dang. What you mean, dang? Oh, you full off the food that you had earlier, huh? Yeah, oh, you dang that. Yeah, you barely eating. But I'm full. It's so um filling. This might last me all day because I'm shit. I could stop eating right now. I'm good. I'm getting there. But anyway, um. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I'm going to jump on this trend. Five things I would never do having worked in the plastic surgery field for 35 years and having worked for two of the world's finest plastic surgeons. Number one, I would never get breast implants. Number two, never get fillers in your face. Number three, never, ever get a laser peel. Number four, never under any circumstances combine a facelift with a tummy tuck. And number five, most important of all, do not hunt for a bargain in plastic surgery. There ain't one. And people do it all the time, trying to find the cheapest place. But isn't that like a normal thing to do? Like, why yeah. would you go and seek out the But she's trying to let expensive? you know that, that when, you, when you do that, you're going to end up... Them corners you cut could end up going to end up costing you your health or your life. But how do you know if you're cutting corners? Like how do you know when you how much for that it's bargain, supposed to be? When you're searching for that bargain. Like when I, I was I was looking for some Creed Cologne, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and I was searching for that bargain, you know what I'm saying? And then you know you get to reading reviews and stuff and you realize, you know, I'm searching for this bargain, I'm trying to save this money, but this shit might be fake. Look at these reviews. So, so you, you know. It, it pays to go ahead and get it. Go ahead and, you know, don't search for the bargain. Go ahead and pay that money mm -hmm. so you can get that reputable experience. So I talked to the um, the general manager of um, Fire House Subs. Yeah, she got on it, y'all. I didn't have to call him. I talked to him this morning. And... He was very nice. Um, 
And yeah, I just I just let him know what happened. He was like, you know, that's definitely not representative of, you know, firehouse subs. They apologize. And I'm good. Cause I know it didn't represent them. You know what I'm saying? I know that. He was dude was having a bad day. Like I said, mm -mm. he's he was, a jerk off. He was having a he's bad a day. He's a jerk. He wasn't having a bad day. He's an asshole. So. Who must be racist against black people? That's crazy. Because he ain't even white. What's his name? Pablo? I. <laughs> don't be. Oh my God. I got brown out here hating the brown. What the damn wrong with you? White woman walk up. Hey, hello, ma'am. How you doing? This fucking dark. I can't believe that. Anyway, so. I wonder why she wouldn't, um. Like, why she wouldn't do breast implants. I wonder. Because that stuff's bad for you. That's unnatural. But, but why it, are they doing it? What you mean, why are they doing it? Because like, they want some big titties. I'm just saying, but she's a surgeon, and she wouldn't do it, and she's telling other people not to do it. But she does those surgeries, like... For the money. For the money. Yes, people will chop you up, money. put something toxic inside of you for the money. If, if you ask for it, and you consent, you want to sign this paper? Okay, I'll put it in that paper. I remember when I was um thinking about getting that surgery done. A breast implant, yeah, I was thinking about it. Um, what changed my mind was that I just had to keep thinking about, like, like you're going to be walking around. I wonder if you are going to feel those things in your chest all the time because they're there and they're not supposed to be there. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you feel them all the time? And, like, people that have, like, butt implants and stuff, like, when they sit down, do they feel them? You know? I wouldn't want to feel that. I think it would get on my nerves. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so. I'm just going to stay away from all types of surgeries. Like, I'm just going to stay away from it. Natural is the word of the day. I felt like I was getting surgery when I got my eyebrows done, y'all. Like, that was horrific. <laughs> y'all don't even know, y'all. Like, I was literally dying. Like, I was getting a... I was getting a tattoo on my face, basically, is what I was doing. <laughs> like, freaking ouch, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Right there on that bone, too. Yes. Oh, that's it hurts good. so... Oh, my goodness. I can imagine. It hurts so bad. I don't think I told anybody how bad it really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, my God. I can't about to tell her, oh, my God, can you just, just wait a minute? <laughs> And I'm supposed to get it redone. And he keeps that. <laughs> You're talking about your cough on Instagram. <laughs> My cough? Yeah, when you like the wings. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this other lady said, I do that too. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that is so funny. Um... Yeah, I got to get it redone in, um, what did it say, two to three years or something like that? No. But I won't be getting it done. <laughs> no more. <clears throat> I like this. This watermelon make me happy. Did it make it happen? Yeah, yeah. First, I was really excited to eat watermelon. But I'm just hungry, honestly. Not, not food. anymore. <clears throat> I'm not hungry. Like this has made me full. But I just hope to God I can do it for the next three days. I hope Are I, you going to do it? Yeah, I hope I don't get that feeling that I did last time. I had we had a um, we did a whole fruit and vegetable mukbang all mm -hmm. raw. And what? And I got full. It was cool. And then mm -hmm. like later on, I got. It was weird because I got I got hungry. Mm. But I, my stomach was still full. What? <laughs> yeah, I was still full of all of that, you know, this type of shit right here. But I was. You was probably full of so liquid. Hungry. You was yeah. full of liquid, but yeah, I not something to uh, right to I nourish you. Some meat or something. Right. Yeah. 
Let it, let's know in the comments do y'all think we can do it. I, I'm, I'm going to be able to make it because I'm, you know, if I pop all my little pills and stuff and drink my tea and all of that stuff, I don't even really be hungry. And I drank my tea already. My um, ballerina tea. Um, so I'm, I'm drinking that. I'm just doing, like, water, this, and my tea once a day. That's it. <clears throat> And the stuff that I take for my, um, you know, acid reflux. And then I, what I'm scared of is how is working out going to be, uh, not, you know, not eating, like, you know. Mm. <clears throat> what, what happens is, let me tell you, because I, I went through this, but I did the water. When you work out, all you do, you shaving off more uh, calories, like you shaving this off. So yeah. you're gonna lose weight faster if you have if you're working out while you're doing it. Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna make sure. Where I the work energy out. gonna come from? What is? <laughs> you just gonna have to dig it up from somewhere if you ain't got it. Like you, you're gonna have energy from just from yeah. just eating just watermelon. I, I believe, right? Cause I had remember I had energy when I was drinking the water. You did. Huh? I did. Yeah, that was weird. I felt so good, y'all. Like, that I had never... Did I tell y'all how I really felt? I felt like my best. I was, like, at my best. I felt so good, like, and, like, powerful. You know what I'm saying? I did. I felt really good, and I felt powerful. I felt like I had a lot of energy. I just felt like... I don't know. I felt like I could do anything. I, wow. I never felt like that in my life. Oh, shit. Ever. I got to do it. That's what I'm saying. Like we should just did the water fast. Like, uh, but I'm. I want to. I. I want to know what this is gonna make me feel like, though. You know. Cause this is like being on a water fast. You know what I'm saying? This is mostly liquid. It's better than water. It's H3O2. Huh? It's H3O2. Mmm. Mmm. Fun fact. Mm. Did y'all know that some more, the comedian some more. I know you don't. What? I know. You look at oh. me like. Oh, yeah, some more. The comedian, some more, y'all. And, um, what is her name? Oh, my God. Long reportedly finding there she go. Some more and Nia Long are sisters. I bet you didn't know that. Nia Long. Nia Long, the one that everybody loved on, uh, what was it? Boys in, no, not Boys in, what was yeah, it? Yeah, Boys in the Hood. When what was Trey it? Boys in the Hood. Crying, huh? Yeah. Okay, yes, yeah. sister. Some more and her. Yes, they have the same dad. They have the same dad. No um, yeah, but they don't like each other. Uh, apparently, like they don't get along. Um, they said they speak every. Let me let y'all hear this. Hold on. Some more. That, oh, that's one of the coochie cue part, huh? Yeah. 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 Hold up. <laughs> Long reportedly finally speaks oh, wow. out about how she really feels about her sister some more after some more told why they're not close Nia Long or are both legends and have worked hard to build their name. But through all this, their fans had no idea that the two were actually sisters. Nia is now 51 yeah. years old and is a famous actress while some more is 56 and also a famous actress and comedian. But their blood relation was only known to some that the two were actual sisters. It's quite confusing why Nia never really revealed anything about the matter and kept things to herself allegedly until recently. Even though it was reported that some more made it clear that they don't get along. But finally, after two whole years... kept things to herself allegedly until recently. Even though it was reported that some more made it clear that they don't get along. But finally, after two whole years, Nia has spoken up on this matter and told her fans that she indeed is some more sister according to reports. Nia reportedly posted about some more on her Instagram some time ago, a photo of where the two were standing side by side. Moreover, she also shared a photo A that stated the funny one in the family. But 
This post was allegedly deleted now, and people saw that as potential post deletion as shade. As we already mentioned that some more was the first one who spoke about being a blood sister of Nia Long's, and she also revealed the kind of relationship that to have. Even though it was reported that some more made it clear that she is not cool with her sister Nia long like we usually see with most siblings. We've all seen Debbie Allen and her sister Felia and even the Braxton sisters mm. have a special bond. Possible rivalry? Being reported for years now that Nia and some more are rivals and don't get along so well. However, the alleged reason behind it is that even though the two are sisters by blood, they aren't actually sisters. Some more talked about the matter to Divine Martino in an interview. She reportedly in essence said that the two have the same father, but they aren't actually sisters by true means. Some more stated, we speak from time to time, but I won't be babysitting her kids. Some more spilled the beans about how the sisters were raised separately, and that's why they don't share a sister-like bond, even though they catch up once in a sense. while in public. According to sources, some more didn't initially reveal in any... Anyway, this is too long. Um... Their dad that they share, he's some um, famous um, um, uh, writer um, and something else. So he's he's famous. Hmm. I've ne I had never heard of him, but um, it does sound. Mm -hmm. And both of his daughters are actresses. Like that's amazing. Both of them successful. Well, I know y'all didn't know that. They don't even look like it to me. You think they look like? But you know, I got different moms probably look like their mom. Yeah. Anyway. But you know, to know that they sisters, I you know, I don't know if it's just like I I I can I can see something in mm -hmm. the eyes or something. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, the squinty eyes. Yep, you're right. Okay. Yeah. They both had it, them eyes that they do like that. Yep, they sure do. <laughs> and Samora's not the one that did the, used to do the coochie, coochie coupon joke. I think that was her. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't her. Yes, it was. No. Yes, it was. I remember. Really? I went. Did I see Maybe her? She, she must have been. Cause no. That, she, she had she a was... skinnier face, the woman I'm thinking about. Like a little pointy nose and chin almost. And she was dark skinned. That was Samora. I know it was. I was thinking, uh, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> y'all let us know in the comments. Y'all know, I'm sure. <laughs> <clears throat> what? Coochie coupon. I never thought some more was funny. Really? Not at all? Mm-mm. Nope. Who the... What? Female comedian that I think was funny. Um... I think... Um, Monique is the funniest one out of out of all the female comedians, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really like female comedians. I can't think of any of them that I'd be like, oh yeah. But nobody is funny to you. Monique is funny. You know what? You know that girl? She got she got these big old lips. Um, oh, you know who I'm talking Cheryl about? Cheryl Under, not Cheryl Underwood. Um, Cheryl Underwood. Cheryl Underwood is funny. That's not who I'm talking Cheryl about. Underwood is yeah, funny. yeah. Um, but I know what you're talking seen, about, though. She played in a couple of movies, didn't she? She did. I think so. Yeah, yeah. she funny too. Yeah. You think she's funny? Yeah, them, she kind of funny. She them, is. Yeah, them reach out and grab your lips. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mm. So, yeah, I think that's it. Um, that's a shame. That's a shame. What? That the two sisters don't get along. I know. There's no sisterhood within the sisterhood. And, like, everybody's starting to talk about and, and, um, and, um, like, make up their own conspiracy theories about, uh, what is his name, 600 Breezy in that situation? Yeah. Like, have you been hearing anything uh -huh. else about it? Like people been putting it together because they said that um, after the police, oh my God, I swear. Oh, I, I put this for the future. That ain't it. If you don't know now, okay. I finally found. Hold up. So, now let's get into these into this situation because it does not make sense. 
Now, 600 Breezy, girlfriend, very beautiful, um, committed suicide September the 6th, 2022. Now, not long after the police confirmed her death, 600 Breezy posted these messages and more messages, more screenshots. Um, after they confirmed her it. stating that she was tired of life and she wanted to commit suicide. Now, in another screenshot that I didn't save that now I can't find again, it stated that she was at a bridge where she was basically, in other words, letting him know this is where she was about to end her life. So, Wait, what? She said she was at a bridge in this letter or something? A, yes, a text that he put out. Mm -hmm. Now, and this is after, uh, the you know, that she was confirmed, you know, not alive anymore. Well, just, um, first, he, just he put he, these just, messages just, out just and, in, in, you know, just in defense, somebody who contemplating suicide could very easily go to a bridge, think they're going to jump off and, and change, change their, their mind, mind and then go do it somewhere else. That's true. And why she didn't take her but bonnet why off did, she do this TikTok? Please, can you take the bonnet off you, before you do your oh TikTok? Oh, God. Y'all, come God, as you are, no, okay? No, stop it. Take anyway. it off. When you get out of bed, take that off. That's why the TikTok leave it in, is leave that shit TikTok. In the bed, because ladies. you can come as you are. Leave your bonnets in the bed. No. Can you please? Bonnets in the bed. Hashtag bonnet. Leave your bonnet in the bed. Y'all ain't got to. Mm-mm. Bonnets don't need to go no further than the bed. Anyway, so basically, they're trying to say, okay, allegedly, he wrote those messages because they said that um, just the way she, you know, was writing it, it wasn't like personable, like she was writing it to her boyfriend that she loved very much, you know what I'm saying? Like, she called him by his first name and they said that she don't usually call him by his first name. So... Anyway, um... Now, the story gets fishy. The family came out and said that they haven't spoke or uh, had any contact with her since August the 31st. August 31st. Which led the mother to call the police to do a wellness check where they found her dad in her apartment. Which is why I say she fishy because the text messages that she said she was at a bridge. But when they found her dad, she was in her apartment. Now, the family also said that they feel as if her suicide is a cover-up. Now, this is one of many posts that came from her family stating that they are not falling for the storyline that is surfacing concerning her. If you read, if you read more so of this portion right here, it's basically... I swear this baby crying in my ear upset. She didn't want to leave this earth. He knew saying mm. she did it would be the best cover up because of her history. But she was happy she with apparently him. Had she wasn't happy with him. Mental and health the stuff history. him and his baby mama was putting her through. She really wanted to just leave him and let him go. He didn't want to accept. Now, the family also said that the story does not add up to them because they were not in a relationship. So they would not understand why she would text him, what she did. Mm. Now, this is another thing. Well, I understand why she. She loved him. Come out to be her first cousin. They weren't together. I'm her family first cousin to be exact. We asked him to take that down and he has refused. Where was he when my cousin was hurt? Which is a very good question because if she texts you that, why didn't you call the police to do a wellness check yourself? Or mm, why exactly. didn't you let the family know that you was in contact with her the whole week that they was not in contact with her? Now, boom. That's true. All the time that they was looking for her since the 31st. But he's saying that he, I guess he wasn't with her. I do not know. This is so freaking confusing. I'm going to let them figure that out, though. Because, like, <laughs> this is all the information that they had, and everybody is freaking confused. She everybody. Needs, they need to go back to sleep and let the police do their work. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out myself, but I can't. I cannot figure it out. Anyway, so <clears throat> y'all, we're gonna try to do this. Um, I'm I just it. hope and pray to God that I am able boy. to do this. Is I'm craving all kinds of foods now. Like I'm full as a tick. Lord, please. Yeah, you wanna work out? We can't work out right now. We can't work out right after we eat. I'm gonna do some strength training. Right after you eat? Yeah, why not? 
Do because you're not supposed to. I'm just going to work my arms and stuff. I ain't going to be doing no uh, running and all of that. HIT exercises. High intensity interval training. That's what we be doing. HIT. H-I-I-T. High intensity interval training. That right there is a fool. I'm yeah, going to do some regular easy, uh, workouts. My ballot break a sweat when I be doing the only workouts I do. Well, that... You know but they still what burn. They still burn more calories though, because it's you know when you're lifting weights. Anyway, so yeah, so we'll, I guess we'll see y'all tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos, everyday videos, and we'll see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all. Uh...